Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is 18305 for Windows Insiders and the Fast Ring and Skip Ahead. A couple of interesting changes with this build as well. Could be our last build of 2018 as well. I'm not sure they'll get one more build out. I don't think so. So let's have a look what's new in this build. Well, Microsoft say uh, there's a simplified start layout. Now, if I open my start layout, obviously this is my customized one. But what they say is... Um, on for new accounts and new installs then there's just a simple sort of single row of of um of, of tiles rather than sort of the all the i would say rubbish but you know like games and things like that that get installed so um that's good to see now what is interesting with this one is a new feature called windows sandbox so windows sandbox is a virtual environment for running applications uh, and without any sort of permanent image. So it's like running a virtual machine of uh, Windows 10, but when you close the sandbox, it completely discards all the changes. So um, you can test something, close it down, and it discards everything. So I ran this earlier on, did some changes, and uh, I'm going to come back to it now, but it's going to be still a clean store. So here is the sandboxed version of Windows 10. So it's a Total clean install. It runs in uh, a separate isolation of Windows. It's got its own uh, kernel using hypervisor. And uh, so this is like a clean version of Windows 10. So here you can actually see it's downloading some of the inbox apps. Even though I did this earlier, it's re-downloaded them because um, I've discarded it. So it's starting from scratch. So interesting idea. I guess this is good for testing stuff or you're running stuff, something that you are not too sure about, whether it's going to cause any problems. You can run it under this environment. You don't have to download any image files or anything like that. It's just there ready to go. So an interesting idea. And uh, this is available on the Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise installs, not Home. And I think that's because Home doesn't support uh, virtualization. Now something else, I'm going to discard this now actually, but something else that's new and is an updated version of the clipboard, the cloud clipboard, so I did control V, so mine's empty at the moment, so let's um, put something on the clipboard. So if I do Windows key and V, you can see my clipboard and they've updated the UI of, uh, on this as well, so I can add something else to it. There you can see I've got that, uh, that's the updated cloud clipboard i do use that actually i do i do like that another thing i spotted as well now it isn't on this build but on one of my other builds uh is a slight change to the um to settings page so this is the old style one but have a look at this picture should I capture on my other one this is the updated one so it shows you that uh, your phone's connected that you're up to date and even your bing rewards as well so um I don't know why this machine has not picked that up, but that's one of the other machines, and that's coming out in this build as well. Some of the things uh, which I can't show you because my capture software doesn't sort of capture it, you can sign in with the with a password passwordless Microsoft account, which you can do through your Microsoft account. The uh, pin reset has been reset uh, has been reset <laughs> has been the pin reset has been updated so that when you log in with the pin, if you forget it, um, it looks very much like the uh, the online version of it as well. Again, I can't show you that because the screen capture doesn't capture the the, the lock screen. Also, in this build, the uh, trouble automatic recommended troubleshooting has been updated as well, so that's fully operational now. There's nothing to to recommend on here at the moment. Something that's changed is that I'm not seen on this machine actually, but uh, I've seen it on the the release notes. Is in Task Manager, you've got the option of setting your default, um, and I don't have the option here. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's a language installation maybe you've got to be in US English for this to work and not UK English but you've got the option to set a default which is very good because no one uses the actual basic one I think everybody prefers going to one of the more detailed ones and this is as well something else is new is the slight shadows on um, in various places using the sort of fluid the fluid design so you can see the drop shadow on there and if, if I go to a menu you can you can see that as well a bit more prominently uh, what you should, I was going to show you on here is there was also the option to show a friendly date, but that's not available on my machine. So they do say that's not coming for everybody yet. So um, wait and see on a future build for that one. Another thing that's uh, changed that they mentioned in this build is Cortana 
and to do are now linked together so you can add a task to Cortana and to do gets it. Interesting you notice here on my machine, this happened in the last build, the search and Cortana are now split up separately into two different applications. Um, so they're not on the combined UI anymore. I think that's something that's coming for the future um, where you may be able to pick your own voice assistant. Anyway, so I can add a reminder on here if I want to and it will go in my to-do app. So there's plenty of other changes as well. There's security fixes. Um, it was causing some uh, uh, bug checks with uh, AV apps. They've um, The file explorer icon has a white background when using dark theme. They fixed that. They fixed some setting crashes. They fixed some action center where it wouldn't open properly or the open animation wouldn't work correctly. They fixed some uh, task host CPU usage and uh, some search issues as well. There's still plenty of known issues. Um, mainly UI issues, and uh, but there's some things like US, USB printers may install twice. I remember that from a previous build, actually. Some Hyper-V issues as well, and a couple of uh, dark mode issues. So, still plenty to do for this uh, 19H1 build. Microsoft is slowly adding features to it, but they're subtle features, and these are, it seems to me, this is about polish, uh, this 19H1 build, getting the uh, Windows polished and ready for the... Um, release in the first half of 2019. I don't think there's going to be major features. I don't even think we probably won't even get sets back. But anyway, so those are the changes in this build. This, Like I said, this, I suspect this will probably be the final build of 2018. You never know, we may get one more. So this is 18.305 for Windows on the side of the fast ring. You can find me on Twitter at ISDixon. I'm on Facebook, I'm on YouTube channel, and on the digitallifestyle.com.